The map indicating the gold field in Egypt on the 13th century is the first recorded attempt in providing graphical geological information. Another brief history of geological mapping is that the first geological map is known to have been complied by M. Lister at the end of 17th century. Another brief history of geological mapping is that the first stratigraphic layer-by-layer layer geological map is started appearing at the beginning of the 18th century. Another brief history of geological mapping is that in India, the first geological map was prepared by Dr. Henry Wesley Voysey. Another brief history of geological mapping is that Captain J.D. the 1885 and her her best prepared the first geological map of the Himalayan was published in 1842 for the area between the river of South Edge and Kali. Geologic maps display the arrangement of geologic features of a particular area. These features can include such things as types of rocks, folds, minerals, and groundwater. From studying a geologic map, the user can better understand possible dangers like the potential for floods or earthquakes to help to locate the important deposits of energy resources such as water oil, natural gas, and minerals. Geologic maps are not like other maps. While other maps are designed to show where things are or is known best to show the distribution of roads or rivers or boundaries, a geologic map shows the distribution of geologic features, including different kinds of rocks and folds. The geology is represented by colors, lines, and special symbols unique to geological maps. The following are the features of geological map. The first one is the color scheme. The most striking features of geologic maps are its color. Each color represents a different geologic unit. A geologic unit is a volume of a certain kind of rock of a given age range. Another feature of geological map is the letter symbols. It usually, the symbol is the combination of the initial capital letter followed by or more small letters. The capital letter represents the age of the geologic unit. Geologists have divided the history of the earth into aeons, the largest division, eras, periods, and epoch mostly based on the fossil found in the rocks. 
Another features of geological map is the lines on the map. The first one is the contact lines. The place where two different geologic units are found next to each other is called a contact, and that is represented by different kinds of lines on the geologic map. The two main types of contacts shown on most geologic maps are the positional contacts and faults. In contact lines, lava from a volcano flows over the landscape, and when the lava hardens into the rock, the place where the lava rock rests on the rocks underneath is a depositional contact. Contact lines are shown on the map as a thin line. Another feature of geological map under the lines on the map is the faults. Faults can cut through a single geologic unit. These faults are shown with the same thick line on the map, but have the same geologic unit on both sides. Remember, just because the map shows the fault doesn't mean the fault is still active and is likely to cause an earthquake. Rocks can preserve records of faults that have been inactive for many million of years, but knowing where the faults are is the first step toward finding the one that can move. Another feature of geological map is the line. So there are different types of line, including with this is the folds. Another kind of line shown on the most geologic maps is a fold axis. In addition to being moved by folds, geologic unit can also be bent and warped by the same forces into rounded wave-like shapes called folds. A line that follows the crest or throw of the fold is called the fold axis. This is marked on the geologic map with a line a little thicker than a depositional contact but thinner than a fold. Another feature of geological map under the lines is the strikes and dips. Delta beds shown on the geologic map with a strike and dip symbol. The symbol consists of three parts, a long line, a short line, and a number. The long line is called the strike line and shows the direction in the bed that is still horizontal. The strike line shows the horizontal direction in the beds. The short line is called the deep line and shows which the bed is tilted. The number in the strikes and dips is called the deep and shows how much the bed is tilted in degrees from flat. The higher the number, the steeper the tilting of the bed all the way up to 90 degrees if the bed is salted all the way into its sides. Another feature of geological map is the map key. All geologic maps come with a table called a map key. In the map key, all the colors and symbols are shown and explained. The map key usually starts with a list showing the color and letter symbol of every geologic unit, starting with the youngest or most recently formed units. The map key will also include explanations of any other kinds of geologic symbols used on the map. The location where fossils were found, locations of deposits of precious metals, locations...